Hey guys, Katie Taylor here at scrappingkatie.com, where I show you how to preserve your family's memories through the art of scrapbooking. Today's video, I am going to be using six stamps, three photos, and one layout to document coffee, movies, and a sleepover. I am going to take my base page and just use the back side of my Versa mat and basically mimic the card that I posted on Instagram the other day. I'm just going to peel away the images that I'll be using. One thing I love about Close to My Heart stamps is they are ready to use. You just peel them off the carrier sheet, attach them to your acrylic block, add some ink, and stamp them down. So what makes this layout just really simple is just the layering of the stamped images and not really having to cut or add dimension in any way as far as the stamps go. So these words, they do say something, but they're meant to be kind of a background. And of course, I'm going to ink up that larger flower and then come in with the smaller flower. You can see here, I am not paying attention to where I am stamping. Just going to kind of go over that right side and the bottom of this layout. Now this little bitty piece, you can probably see in the still shots, is just a little bitty paint splatter. And you guys know how much I love my paint splatters. So for the card, I use the back side of the stamp to color the images. For this layout, I'm actually going to use the stencils that come with the Dream Maker collection. I've chosen the polka dot one, so I'm just going to attach that to my cardstock base, as well as have some attaching the whole project to my glass board so it doesn't move. I'm going to be using a subtle ballerina ink for this method. And then I'm just going to move this stencil to the top right and then repeat the process as well as down at the bottom left. Now, if you want to see the entire Dream Maker collection, I will have a link to a video at the very end of this video. So you'll want to check that out as well as have links to the collection down below in the description. Just go ahead and expand that description and you'll see links for it as well as all of the products that I used. So you can head over onto my website and check them out. I'm going to clean up that glass board really quick and then bring in another image. I'm thinking that since I'm going to document coffee, I really wanted some toffee ink. And there is this little, I, I'm not sure if it's a center to a flower or what, but it's just a little kind of distressed circle. So I'm just going to random stamp that using the toffee ink. And then I am pulling out my photos. Now the Dream Maker collection comes with this lovely marbled cardstock. It's marbled on one side and then just plain cardstock on the other. And then this lovely pattern paper. Now this is a an extended paper collection. So you get far more than the six sheets that you usually get with our Close to My Heart papers. You can see me thumbing through and just kind of pulling aside some. Now the polka dot is my absolute favorite, but I will not be using that for this project. I debated cutting this part out, but I really wanted to show you, especially if you are new to scrapbooking, just how the process works. And I usually just take my photos along with the cardstock or the pattern paper that I'm using, put them um, against my prepared cardstock base. You can see here all the stamping, and it really kind of gives you a true accurate look of how those photo mats are going to look once they're in place. And so that's why I decided to leave that process in. So I originally wanted three four by four photos, but I was talking and singing and thinking and doing all the things that women, mothers, and scrapbookers do. And I ended up cutting one just a little bit smaller, but no worries. I can just make it work. I've laid those down onto a very subtle periwinkle pattern paper, and then I'm going to mat it on this lagoon marble. Now you're not gonna see a whole lot of the marble, but I think you'll see enough of it just to create interest. I decided to tear the bottoms that you saw there and then realizing that that top left corner definitely needs something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that stamping with the background words, both floral sizes, as well as the stenciling and the small little paint splatter and the toffee circle. Now, while I'm completing that, I am going to remind you that if you are liking what you are seeing, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment, and if you aren't already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you won't miss another crafty video. Also, don't forget that you can support me by sharing with your friends or shopping any of the links down below.
Now let's get back to the layout. So I want to look for the word coffee since we're having coffee, thinking maybe add either a stamped little embellishment or something. So I am in my OneNote file. I'm just going to click the search button and I am going to put coffee and then all the stamp sets that I have that having to do with coffee or a coffee cup are going to show up. That one's cute. Okay, so... Coffee helps, coffee, oh, that one's cute too, desserts a whirl, you warm my heart, that's kind of wintery, scrap lady, I think that's just the word coffee, a sip, it's more like tea, If you're wondering why there are so many, it's because it's pulling in all my extra sheets um, that I've been sharing with people who purchase the file. So really love this one because the girls actually have frappuccinos. So this, this fits perfectly. So this tells me that it is Z4322. So I am going to head on over to my Z's and pick that up. So let me show you how easy that is. So I have my stamp organizer out that has the Z's in it. And I'm just gonna kind of take a look at where we're at. So I don't know, 37, 39, I believe it was 43, 22, 41. It's hard to read through the camera, 4297, 4322, <gasps> yep, there it is. So now I can use it and then when I'm done, I can put it right back where it belongs. So next time I'll find it as easy as I found it this time. So I colored this off camera with my tri-blend markers. I'll leave those colors below. And then I am pulling out this Thin cut. Now, this is from the Hey Handsome, but I absolutely love, love, love these glasses and this pocket. Even though this layout has nothing to do with Handsome or anything else. Now, I've pulled out that pattern paper. I didn't want to waste the backside, so I just cut a strip down the middle, and I'm going to do some paper tearing, and that's going to actually go over the top and the bottom of that little photo section. Now, I have pulled out the um, stamp set bucket list. This was a special, I believe, a couple of months ago. So the stamps I'm going to be using, again, I alluded to I use six stamp sets, not stamp images, stamp sets, which I love because, you know, I purchased these stamp sets for a reason. It's I love them. I know I can use them. So I love digging into my stash and using retired elements. So I'm just pulling from the sheet. Now, some don't um, really match, so I don't mind cutting my stamps in half. Now, I have fussy cut three of the smaller flowers that come with the Dream Maker collection. It's not that hard to fussy cut. I even have slight arthritis in my fingers. Now, I am only doing three, granted, but fussy cutting is a kind of one of those things I hear from you guys. You have a love-hate relationship. I think that if you can just find a time, a downtime while you're watching TV, listening to podcasts, and just cut away, it would just be wonderful. I know that my friend Julie is about to release her uh, workshop for Dreammaker, and it is absolutely gorgeous. You'll have to go check that out um, and then check out her workshop. So here is where I am putting in the quote unquote bucket list. So the time came from that bucket list stamp set, but then I wanted to add cousin. So I'm using an alphabet stamp from my stash and just inking everything up in black ink. So I have cousin time and then sleepovers actually was an image from that bucket list stamp set. And then there was another one that said, movie night. Now, this one actually said outdoor movie night. The girls weren't outdoors. So I, again, I just cut off outdoor. Make your stamps and your products work for you. 
And then there was this cute little box with a check mark. So I'm just going to add those down the list. And that basically kind of lets them know that this is what this layout was about. I'll add a little bit more detail in my hidden journaling that I'll show you here in just a second. So I think I am ready to kind of get things in place. Now here are those pattern papers. Again, I added one at the bottom and then at the top, and I'm going to add those little three flowers. I'm gonna add some 3D foam tape, and then I'm going to bring in my embellishments. I'm gonna use my T ruler just to make sure that that photo um, grouping, I guess, is correct. Here's where that pocket comes in. A pocket has nothing to do with this, but it's going to be a wonderful anchoring spot for my cute little cup of Frappuccino, my little pop dotted floral piece, and then my glasses. Now I did add um, adhesive sheets to the back of these before I ran it through my die cut machine. Just makes it really easy to do that. I'm gonna use my bone folder to make sure it gets really good and stuck on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add these other little small flowers. Now, I don't know if you could notice, but I actually stamped two on some of the ballerina marbled cardstock and one just on white, white daisy cardstock. So the two ballerinas are the ones that's go going to go at the top and then the side. And then I have the white one down by the coffee. Now, I printed my photos with my Persnickety Box subscription, and every once in a while, they actually add some additional things. So these are from a sticker company, and I loved the look of them. So I'm just going to try out. I really am liking just that plain white with the border. So while I'm not going to use those, I definitely got the idea for my journaling, which is hidden over there on that left side. And then I'm going to add some little clear sparkles around the groupings of the florals, as well as the little grouping of the glasses and the coffee. And then that pretty much is the layout. I am loving the floral kind of feminine piece. I did use a sketch and then, of course, that card for inspiration. Here is a still shot of that layout. And then you can always check out my Instagram for additional views of this layout, as well as any of my other projects that I make. Now let's take a look at that Dream Maker collection. 